have to get away from the Babylon. What's up, YouTube? Big B here with Ironclad RC. Thank you guys for riding with me. Today, we got the 4S Creighton back on the block. Yes, we're doing an upgrade. Yes, it's broken again. And yes, this is probably my favorite RC truck I own. Uh, we're going to be installing the Hot Racing Case, Steel Diff, and Ring Pinion, and the Hot Racing Yoke in the rear of this truck. If you're watching this video, then you're probably having a little trouble, something like this. Composite. <laughs> Garbage. So stay tuned. We're going to put this together. We're going to put it all in the truck, and at the end, we're going to give this a straight up beat down, ironclad style. So yeah, building a channel for you guys to enjoy, where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. So stay tuned, we're going to get, get, get to it. Get this headache, let me get this headache out the way here. <laughs> uh, this is what we're going to be installing. The part number is ATF11A01 for the case. ATF9337 is the diff ring and pinion steel. And then an aluminum yoke is ATF11Y02. Those are your part numbers. Uh, I went ahead and got this, the brand new uh, metal out drives and the planet gears. Outdrive part number is AR310775 and the planet gear is AR310865. Oh. Pinion, very nice, very nice looking. It's nice and smooth. Uh, you got your new pin here, two new pins, longer pins for one side and it's shim. You got your gaskets here and the screws that hold it all together. I probably seven or eight of these things laying around. I always break this one. What I think happens is the gear, the gears are rotating and it starts to spin that shaft that holds the gears in place. Look at this. Look at this. Every single time. See that? See how it's wallered out? This one and this one. See? See how it's misshaped? That thing starts wallering out and, and, it, and your gears lose mesh. Boom! There goes your diff. Composite. Ain't worth a damn. Stock differential? Upgraded differential. <laughs> okay, so this is basically going to be your best bet for putting this thing together. I've got everything laid out just like you would put together your composite differential. You know, you um basically going to lay it out in order that it that it goes together. Uh follow the stock instructions. The only thing that's really different about this are these shims and the longer pin here. You use your stock o-ring, washer, outdrives, planet gears, I mean, everything is basically used except for two pins inside your differential. Um, almost 1,000% positive here, you guys. Okay, so what you want to do to put this together, you want to put your O-ring in differential itself. Put the washer shim in next, just like you would your regular stock diff. Uh, then you want to put... Make sure this one goes on the differential ring side, the male end that the bearing sits onto. Then you put your bearing on and it should look something like this, okay? So that one's basically done, all right? So we're gonna switch over to the case side, okay? It's a nice looking case, you guys. It's got the grind marks, laser etching on the side. And you're just going to follow the same steps. You're going to put your O-ring in first. That's going to seal off your differential and prevent uh, fluid from leaking out. Then you're going to set your shim, washer, washer shim, right on top. Okay? Right? 
Then you put your out drive in next that sits right on top of the washer. All right. Now this is the part that's a little bit different that I might have to uh, redo, but we're going to try to get it right the first time. Okay. Now this is the short pin. This is the stock pin. This is going to go on the raised side of the case. Okay. Like so. You see you have a, a raised area right here. And then you have the low area where you're... Let me get us a little light in here. There we go. Then you have the low area. So we're going to put the two short pins in first. Alright. Like so. And then I'm going to take the long pin. We're going to put that in the lower... The bottom of this case. Alright. There we go. Boom. Done. Now I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that that's right. You see how everything's all the same height? And then we put this shim in on top of the gear, the planet gear, to keep that gear from moving up and down. Alright? So we're going to throw this in there. This is the long one. Alright? That's the long one that goes on the bottom of the case. Ooh, I don't like that. Look at that. See how it's wiggling? See how it's wiggling? I don't like that. That's why the other fucking differential kept messing up. That's why the other one kept messing up. I don't like that. See, that's the provided pin for this diff. I don't like that movement. That's got some play in it. I don't like that. No. That ain't supposed to be like that. Uh-uh. No, sir. No, I don't like that. Look at that play. I can visually see a difference in size. This is the old pin that came out my old diff. Not much play. A little bit of play, but not much. This one. Look at that. I don't like that. But we're going to go with it. That's what it came with. Look at that play. Look at them moving. Alright, so basically when you have all four of your pins in and they all look like that. They're all level, same height. You put your, your gears in. Your planet gears. Just like you would your stock diff. Okay? Just drops right in. Give it a little turn. Make sure everything's moving. Alright? It might bind up a little bit because... You don't have the top on, but it should be free and moving like so. And you put your shims in on the on the gear that is lowest. Okay? If you don't know how to do that, I'll have Tommy Boy come by and hit you in the head with a ball peen hammer. Ha ha ha! Living a band bow down by the river. <laughs> uh, how many of y'all remember that movie? little hint little tip here for you guys get you a socket to set this in once you have it all together you know set it in a socket so your out drive doesn't push the gears out all right then we're going to get this ring this is an o-ring this is what's going to seal it up and you got to be careful with this guy right here because this is the only one you got and i haven't seen one in a replacement so you got to be super careful with that, guys. Alright, that's tip topped. Pretty badass looking. It's a lot better looking than this guy right here. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> For the yoke, the case, and this ring and pinion. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. $200 do it front and back. So... To see slop like that in a high performance part like this for an RC, that almost turns me off of hot racing. Get the, the Arma steel differential for the 3 and 4S line. And we're going to see. Um, we're going to see. We're going to see which one's got a tighter. See that? Look at that. Look at those gears moving around. I know the top ain't on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
whatever. Alright, we're gonna let that sit in there for a second. Make sure it's dry. Alright. This is the hard part. Okay, like so. And this is hard to do on camera. I'm just gonna wiggle it around a little bit more, make sure it's all in, give it a little twist. Make sure it's spinning freely. I'm gonna lock tight these screws. Don't use your drill. It's aluminum. Strip it out. Okay, just kind of snug them up. Just do one side and do the other side. We'll play. Feel? Yeah, it feels good, son. Feels good. I didn't like that play on that pin, but that feels good. That's nice. Good and tight. All right, we're gonna put these bearings. Wow, they're tight. God damn, the motherfucker's tighter than a mosquito pussy. What beep, the beep. Fuck. All right, we're gonna try to put it in this yoke. Ooh, there it went. There it went, son. Uh. Got it in. Yep. Looking good, looking good. So, put these just like you would your stock one, just like that. And then you're going to have your second one right on top. And this one right here, these actually go on there nice. Alright, so, now we are to the shimming part. This is what I've been wondering about. So, the gear side goes on the emblem side all right with none on it loose but these bevel gears are nice and thick look how much look how much bevel they got here jeez that feels nice man all right i'm gonna put one on it let's see what it does with one want it to be tight hell you spent a hundred bucks on this setup you want it to be tight your hex driver here just kind of don't get it too tight just cinch it down until you get both of them in and kind of go back and forth with it but this 4s Creighton is my favorite truck that feels better I'm gonna leave that one thin shim in it The more you drive it, the more it'll loosen up. So I am going to run a shim. It's a stock shim, and it's thinner than these lossy shims. That feels good. That looks good. That's going to set it off. In the chassis, you should be able to see that hot racing in the chassis. It's going to look good, y'all. All right. So I'm going to put it in the truck. Give that bitch a rip. Upgraded. This differential doesn't work then I'm probably gonna like get a stick of dynamite and set on this bitch and just fucking blow it up all right mm, that sounds good <laughs> let's go play Sounds good. Running on 4S today. Oh yeah. I'm liking it already, y'all. It's nice and smooth. Went over my head, you see that? Yeah. 
All that mud in it. Ooh, this thing's got some balls with this new ESC. Woo! Like it, I like it. It's not pulling to one side or the other. Nice really. Yeah man, I'm just worried about that one that one pin on, on the planet gear, how loose it was. All right, let's do a, a GPS rub. I got this 15 tooth zeroed out. We're gonna put 6S in it when the battery's on. I wouldn't pull trigger. It wants to pop a willy when you get it full, full trigger. 55, 55. Woo, I like it. This thing is tanked out. This thing is tanked out, y'all. Let's see what she'll do over here in the field. And we can't even keep the wheels on the ground. This thing is fast. Woo! Woo! Damn, that was cool. Woo! Glad the hell out you caught. <laughs> All right, so we've got the Ovonic eight thousand milliamp fifty C six S right here. First time I've run this truck on 6S. Uh, probably, uh, probably going to have to get some heavier springs since we got more weight here. But uh, let's, uh, let's see what she'll do. Oh, a standing backflip, son. Watch this. Dude. <laughs> hey, big brother can't even do that. Oh, 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 for this video I've got to do something with these batteries I was thinking about using the limitless uh, battery tray but I don't know if it's gonna fit 
But uh, we'll see. I'm going to try to mess around with it. We'll see what we can figure out. This motherfucker's tanked out. Now, I'm probably going to have to go with the 6S Creighton Springs on these shocks. Um, probably, yep, I'm going to keep the shock bodies. I was going to say just put the 6S shocks on all together. But uh, I think I'm just going to go with the springs because with all this extra weight, she's wanting to sag a lot. You know, not wanting to lift back up. Not enough spring there. But uh, this thing's a beast. So far, that hot racing steel differential i'm liking it i recommend it for you guys i haven't had any problems with that pin that i know of i'm gonna pull it apart tonight and check it out you know where that pin was loose in the planetary gear um so far no problems there but that's the only thing i would uh bitch about complain about with that differential was those pins being a little too small for its for its uh for its hole but uh Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was long. Those of you who survived, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. With Big B here with Ironclad RC, a channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. See you next time.